Hey guys, this is Edward's Hobbies, and today I'm going to be revealing the dates on some dateless buffalo nickels. So there's this product called Nicodate, which is like an acid, and you can put it on the date area of dateless buffalo nickels, which can bring the date back. I recently got this buffalo nickel album, which I'm looking to fill. It's very empty. I have bought a few in the past, so there's a few in there, and I do have more, but I'm not going to put them in there. So that's what we have to start, and I tried to get as many ones with mint marks that I could find. I think there's a couple S's and a few D's, so I'll sort them by mint and see what we have. So from what I pulled out, we have here 11 pretty clear Philadelphia minted ones, got five pretty clear Denver minted ones, we got two San Francisco for sure, and then this one, it definitely has a mint mark, but it's hard, really hard to tell, that's a D or an S, I think it, I was thinking it's an S, but now it kind of looks like a D, so we'll see on that, we have three here that you can't tell if there's a mint mark on the back, um, and then we have two here. These are both 1913 type 1s. This one's in decent condition. You can even kind of see the date. I think if you looked at it the right way, you could. And then this one, I'll probably nicodate the back to see if I have a mint mark, even though I don't think there is. So we'll get started. So the way I'm going to do this is you can just put it right onto the nickel. I'm going to put it in this cap a little bit and then use a toothpick to kind of put some on the front so I kind of use less and then I'll drop it in that water to wash it off. I'm not going to film it because I'm on a tripod and I'll bring you back when this one is done. It's just a Philadelphia. So I've got the Nicodate on there now. I think I'm probably going to take it off soon. It's been on there for a little bit. The cap thing didn't really work, I couldn't pick it up, so I just put a little dot on there and spread it out. I'm going to carefully pick this up, careful not to move it around. And just plop it in the water. I know it's usually not very good to re date but as you can see, I don't think I left it on there enough. I'll probably do some more just for a little bit and then try to start a timer so then I know the right time or how long to put it on. So I actually had to do it a third time since I took it out early. So I'm gonna leave it on for much longer next time. Except you might be able to see with the camera. Maybe I'll try this. Uh, it's in 1918. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it, yeah, I can see it pretty fine. So I'll do another one and see what I get. So I just did the second one, and this is a very clear 1916. I'd rather leave it on for longer and get a clear date than not do it three times and get a very not clear date like that, even though I can tell. So I'll probably leave it on for about two minutes each time. And I think next I'll try one with a mint mark on the back. There's a Denver mint. So we have a chance at getting a really good nickel here. Also for the race mounds one, I'll put this one just reverse because it's clearly a filly in the album and not nicodate the front. This one, I'll maybe nicodate the back. So we'll do a Denver minted one. So, just nicodated this one. It's a little bit harder to see, but you can probably see it. It's another 1916. So, we've got the 1916 Philly and the 1916 Dunbar. Looking at the chart there, there is... Oh, well, 1916 Philly is very high minted, but 1916 Denver, that's a better date. It says 
$16 in G4, which is not too bad. So maybe a $4 coin because you get maybe 10 to 20%. So yeah, good one for the album. I'll do some, I'll do probably two or three more Philly ones and then come back and see. So I've done three more Philadelphia mints. We got a 1916, a 1925, a 19, and another 1916. So we've got three 1916 Phillies and a 1916 Denver so far. So we've got duplicates, but that's okay. I'll do three more and bring you back. So we've done another three Buffalo Nickels. We did another Philly. That's in 1914. Oldest so far, besides the Type 1s. We did, I did a Denver minted one, and it's another 1916, which is kind of annoying because I only have a few ones with mint marks, and then a 1917, so two new dates. Next, I'll probably do the backs of these three to see if we have any with mint marks. So I nicodated those three that had a questionable back. They're all fillies, no other mint marks. So I'll nicodate the fronts and bring you back. So of course I nicodate those three and all three of them are 1917. That's annoying, but what you gonna do? Next, I think I'll do the one I'm not sure, I'll probably do the back. And I'll also do the back of this one, which is one of the race mounds. The one that's more slick and i'll bring you back with those so the one that i didn't know if it was a D, o, D or an s it was pretty clearly an s when i nicodated it which i hadn't but because that's what i was leaning towards but and then it's a 1916 so now i have the 1916 pd and s and then this i did want to confirm just it was i'm not good at telling the difference so i did nicodate the front and it's a 1913 raised mound and with no mint mark. So it's the same as this. So I guess I have two of those now. So I nicodated another PDNS, another 1917 P. That's the fifth of that year in mint. Um, I got a 1929 S or D, the newest coin so far. Pretty cool. And the so two of the three S's are both 1916, which pretty cool. But now all of the mint mark coins that I've done so far, besides the 29D, have been 1916. I think next I'll do these three Philadelphias and then do the two Denvers and S last. So those last three Philadelphia mints were all in the 20s. We got a 1920, a 1929. Philadelphia, which is a new date, because we have the Denver and then another 1920. So those were the second last three. We have two Denvers and a San Francisco. One's left to nick a date. I save these for last because they look like they were the slickest. So maybe we'll get something good. So I did those last mint, last three nickels with mint marks, and. It's good. I guess I saved the best for last. This first one was just a 1920, I think. Or 20, it's a 28 Denver. So that's a new date for me. Pretty cool. Except the coolest thing, or so then it got better. This was the other Denver Mint. And it's a 1915, which in G4 is a $20 nickel. And so this is maybe a $5 nickel, so still really good. And then when with the S, it just got better. This is a 1914S, which is only 3.47 million minted. That's by far the lowest minted buffalo nickel I've found. And it says in G4, $26. So this is probably another $5 or $6 coin. 
except that's really cool. So here I am with the wrap up. We got a total of 14 different date and mint marks. We did get quite a few duplicates though. We got two 1913 type two, type 1s, a 1914 Philly and S, a 15D, 16 PD and S. We had at least two of all of those. Bunch of 17 Phillies, 18 Philly, two 20 Phillies, 25 Philly, 28 S, 29 P and D, or 28 D, I think. Yeah. And then 29 P and D. I think the finds of the hunt were the 14 D, definitely, and then maybe the 15, or 14 S. And then maybe the 15D. The 15D is at 7.5 million minted, $20 in G4. And then the 14S is 3.4 million. I don't know why the 14S is less valuable than the 14D, even though there was less made. But 14s that's a really good find so i'll plug all these into the album i'll just pick the best of the duplicates and i'll show you that so i got the coins in the album we have just a reverse of a buffalo i put the raise gun in backwards because no reason to put it in forwards 1914 14s 15d 16 all three 17 the 1918, the first one I did, I looked at it again, and it was, I don't know, I started seeing 1915, so I tried nicodating again, which I don't know if that just made it worse or what, but there's, I can't really tell what it is, so I'll keep that out, I guess, and it's a bummer, but I don't really know. Uh, 1920, 25, I already had a 28, 20, and then I got 28D, 29, 29D, I had a 30, and a 34. I have a 36 too that I found quite well hunting, but I'll put it in there. So, hope you enjoyed this fun hunt. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.